I don't want one more homosexual in the world. I just want each one to be treated with love and dignity, not with hatred, not with raids, I accusing not them of, of, of recruiting them. and, and <laughs> accusing them of 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 of, of recruiting children. <laughs> It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I have to admit I'm slightly dreading my meeting with Simon Lakodo, the former Catholic priest who is now Uganda's Minister for Ethics and Integrity and hell-bent on crushing his country's gay community. Who knows where to go? I shall try and be um, civil. I'd like to find out how he could possibly support this barbaric bill, but I'm not sure he'll take to explaining himself to a gay Western liberal like me. How do you do? I'm good, do. How do you do? Thank you. My name is Stephen. Hello, Stephen. I've come with the BBC. I want to tell you, I want to tell you point blank, mm. that there's no way you can impose your attitude to me. I'm not going to. I don't want to. I'm asking questions. I am... I am a typical Ugandan, and my role and mandate here is to empower your Ugandans to uphold moral values and principles. And we don't discriminate. However, we say, please, please, it's already bad that you are in that status. Don't promote, don't no. recruit, don't encourage others to come into your yes. very no, this unfortunate is very, status. This is what's unique in Uganda, this extraordinary idea of yours. Uh, of, of promotion. I, I was all my life. I was subjected to, do, to indoctrination of how to be heterosexual. It never worked on me. It never. If you're born that what way, I'm telling you, you're is born gay, why don't or you're born straight. No, well, just let people be. That's finish. Then you are taking me for one who that who, who should come to join you, and therefore no, tolerate I don't want you to join no me. I mean, no wish for you in to join this me. country, no anybody wish. who I manifests himself a gay must be I checked. I don't want one more homosexual in the world. I just want each one to be treated with love and dignity, not with hatred, not with raids, accusing them of of recruiting and accusing them of 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 recruiting children. <laughs> What are the, 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 the values that we get from homosexuality? What value do you get? Love, Unlike from Christianity, love. 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 Yes. love, when you destroy your back of your brother. Destroy the what? The back of your brother. The back? I have got, yes, I've got my dear brothers who have come here because their backs are oozing with the pass. <laughs> <laughs> Most sodomy takes place in a heterosexual uh, uh, life. It uh, is just a that is in Europe. That is in, in Europe there. No, that is in your place. No, it's all around in the world. In Africa, never. In Africa, one <laughs> There's no rape mistake. in Africa, is there? There are no young girls being raped in Africa. Yeah, oh, but there no, are thousands but, but, of them. But, so surely heterosexuality but, is far more dangerous to children than homosexuality. Far more. It's a country where heterosexual rape is almost endemic. I say, let them do it, but do oh, the let right them way. Do it. The right way. Oh, let them do it the not, right not, way. Not, not, let not, them not. rape children the right way. What are you talking about? No, I'm, talking I'm about, saying I'm at least it is it is natural way of oh, desiring that's sex. Okay then, so it's okay to but, no. but, but for two men who wish who consent to have sex together in private is bad, but it's okay for a man to rape a woman because at least it's the right you way. You're giving two comparisons which you don't saying? meet, which those comparisons don't compare at all. Well that's what you've said to me. You said well, let them do take it the it right the way, way. You want, but what I'm telling you is it is not permissible in Uganda for single sex relationship. Finished. Right. And if you are advocating that, I'm sorry, I will treat you as a, a destructor of Uganda's ideology. Homosexuality is fantastic. You should no, try well, it. It's, it's really good fun. I will arrest you. I, I, I will arrest you. Having sex I am a lawyer. I wouldn't want someone who wasn't gay not to have it. Them. But if you are gay, it's wonderful. Thank you. Um, I hope um, I, I hope it goes goes well for Uganda. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But surely gays will stay away from us. Well, that was lively. He regards my view as an imposition on his country, and in a sense, he's absolutely right. If you want to look at it like that, but, um, taking a, a more international cosmopolitan approach in terms of international human rights, um, I think I'm right. He did buy me up, of course he did, because he's an idiot. You know, this idea that we recruit and promote it is, is, is the only one they can use to convince the ignorant that somehow homosexuals are a threat, because there's no other way they are. Um, it's just, it's just so dishonest, so wrong. 
I'm none the wiser as to what's really behind Lakodo's hatred of gay people. He just kept repeating his mantra about promotion and recruitment as if being gay is something you can talk people into or out of. Perversely, the philosophy that underpins this twisted idea comes from the land that gave birth to gay liberation. And that's where I'm heading now. America is the home of reparative therapy, a therapy that claims it can change people from gay to straight through a series of sessions costing $140 a pop. Its most prominent practitioner, Joseph Nicolosi, is based here in LA, and I wanted to meet one of his patients who had managed to reverse his sexuality. I was home one weekend and I said, I am, but I don't want to be homosexual. Yeah. And how, how did you respond to that, Karen? My heart broke because I knew his life would be more difficult than yeah. I would want for my child. Yes. I begged God to make me straight. I would serve him for the rest of my life if he, if he took these homosexual attractions away from me and it never did anything. So I felt as though I'd been a good Christian and I'd been faithful and that it hadn't worked. So I needed to try something different and that was reparative therapy. I eventually came upon Dr. Nicolosi's book in my university library right. and basically sat down and read the whole thing in one sitting. Yeah. I hadn't heard of Nicolosi, I knew nothing about reparative therapy, right. but I had such respect for Daniel and who he was that yeah. that's what he needed to do. Right. I would support him. Presumably he's trying to prepare you for a moment when you're walking along the street and there's a guy and he gives you a set of tools to apparently to deal with that. Yes. You would ask yourself, well, what characteristic of that guy do I find most attractive? Right. And you take those characteristics and say, well, what internal faults in myself do those represent? What you are seeing is a mirror of the things you lack. Yes. And for how long did you see him? How many sessions? How many? Was it every couple of years? Or? From start to finish, it was about a year and a half. Are you now in a state where you're actually happy with who you are? Yes. Since then, I've been satisfied with my sexuality. Well, I'm off to see Dr. Joseph Nicolosi, who is the uh, director, I believe, of the St. Thomas Aquinas Clinic and one of the founding members of NARF, which is the um, National Association for Research and Therapy for Homosexuality. He uses the rather confusing phrase, gay people can come out of their homosexuality. They can come out of their coming out. Um, now naturally, I'm not disposed to favor him, but I'm going to let him say what he has to say and listen to it, and I'm not here to have a fight. It's really just to see whether he really thinks there is something scientific uh, underlying his work. Hello. Hi, I'm Stephen Fry from the BBC. I'm here to see Dr. Nicolosi. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello, Hi. Dr. How Nicolosi. Are you? Hello, Stephen you. Fry. Nice to meet you. Nice Come on in. Thank you very much. Come on in. What a gorgeous view you have. Thank That's you. It's almost unbelievable. You. you could sit on the right, right here. Super. Okay, here we are. Well, it's nice to be here. Um, good, good to have you here. Uh, you, you, you offer a practice which heals, reverses. Um, I don't know how. I'd just like, not, like to know the vocabulary you prefer yes. to describe the work you Resolves. do. Resolves. Resolves. We resolve the conflicts that are behind the homosexual attractions. Right. That's what we do. You're pretty much of the opinion, I assume, therefore, that homosexual, homosexuality is, is a, a nurture. That's right. Um, we right. believe it's based on trauma. You're really going to have to look yeah. hard to find a trauma. It's an accusation of some sort of parental going wrong. Which... That's what we believe. We believe wow. it's about the parents. The boy does not disidentify with the mother and does not bond with the father. We don't believe he was born gay. If tomorrow a gay gene is discovered, you're going to feel a bit silly, aren't you? No, I won't feel you silly won't. at all because you, they will still have to explain all the homosexuals that were successfully treated. Would you say that you have a, a kind of percentage that you can demonstrate of yeah, success we, we, failure rate? We say 
say a third, a third, a third. A third, no change, a third, significant improvement, a third, cure. Is there an age at which? Well, we're getting more and more teenagers, more and more adolescents. I would say about maybe 60% of our clients now are teenagers. Parents call up in a panic because they found out their son is looking at gay porn. And, of course, we have to get him into therapy. The, the momentum and the enthusiasm of the gay movement sometimes sweeps up young adolescents into that identity right. when it's premature. Imagine I'm coming to see you, Joe, to, to explore the possibility that I might find my inner straight person, if there is such a, per, a, sure. a being. Sure. Uh, how, how would you begin? What, what is the therapeutic process? Many of these clients are able to trace their, their tr- traumatic origins back to the father. My father never cared about me. My father never loved me. He never seemed interested in me. I was trying to get the three A's, attention, affection, approval. And those emotional needs became sexualized. The thing that puzzles me, because I I can't picture it in myself, is when you close your eyes and masturbate, what images come into your head? Are you saying you can actually reprogram that? Because yes. that is you know, yes. basically what gives you an erection, what excites yes, you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly that's, the goal of that's, reparative therapy. Yeah. We, we will say to them, for example, have you right. ever had a heterosexual attraction? Yes. Well, when I was 13 years old, there was this little girl at school. Can you feel a little something? Well, good. Triangle of containment. Hold a picture of that girl. Stay with your body. Stay connected to me. Stay with it. I did a telephone session with a... 17 year old boy he says I now look at gay porn I cannot get aroused right. and I jokingly I cannot get aroused right right, right. right. what that means the right. therapy is working it clearly is yeah. yes yeah I'm also interested in in the phenomenon that has become known in the last 20 years or so as metrosexual and without being the least bit of offensive I would say you fit that rather well you're very well groomed you look you could easily pass as a gay man <laughs> I can say For all his talk of success, Nicolosi is unable to find one of his ex-gays to talk to us. Dan Gonzalez is actually not one of his success stories, and these days is a confirmed ex-ex-gay. He and his mother Carol now campaign against the dangers of reparative therapy. You take the people that are on the posters for ex-gay programs, and not even they will tell you that they're 100% straight. They give you these bizarre convoluted answers about how they're Attract, how they love women, how they love their wife, but they're not physically attracted to a woman walking down the street. And you get these bizarre answers. That's not heterosexuality. Mm. And not to mention damaging. Because every time you feel attracted to someone, that's supposedly a reminder of how you're broken. And what it doesn't cover, for me and for most gay people I know, ultimately, being, being gay, like any other part of being human, is about love. Was that ever addressed, the nature of love, or was it always just about sexual attraction and how you get rid of that? It was always just about sexual attraction and how you get rid of that. And I came to the point where I realized there was nothing wrong with it and that I didn't need to change and that I couldn't change. Did that mean also that you had to abandon your faith? I had to abandon my faith. Can I ask on personal matters, have you had a partner or do you have a partner and are you happy? I'm single at the moment, but I have dated and had boyfriends, yes. Nice boys, you like them? Oh, yes. <laughs> Daniel good. has good taste. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. What is your feeling, all, all told, would, would, would you say, Carol, about, about Dr. Nicolosi and his programme? I think he should be ashamed of himself. Right, right. I, it's, I, I, I can see you are. You are angry about, about mm-hmm. it, yeah. Reparative therapy makes the assumption that being gay is a problem for which families are somehow to blame. But for me, this is an argument that just doesn't add up. I have two parents whom I completely adore. Um, My mother is the warmest, loveliest, kindest person in the world. My father is equally wonderful. Though, I will confess, he was, I felt, very cold towards me and to my brother, incidentally, when we were young and I was scared of him. So in that sense, yeah, he's on the money. <laughs> I had that kind of father, but so did my brother. You know, I mean, it's just not good enough. And, and I don't think it really matters. I think the point is that if there is a problem, it's with society. Because that is the reason so gay people are afraid to come out. It's the reason uh, the reparative therapy can exist. is because there is a culture or there is a worldview or there is a religious doctrine out there which, uh, which speaks in a strong voice to condemn and young people are very vulnerable. And I, I have no sympathy 
with gay people who tell a 14 year old they are gay and they must accept it but I have no sympathy with a with one who tells a 14 year old that they're not gay and they must accept it. It's bad enough being an adolescent most of the time than to, than to have interested parties from either group trying to recruit you.